Ready? One, two, three. Hello, hey. everyone. <laughs> Okay, so today we're actually going to be talking about how we met. So if you don't know anything about Mark and I, we're an entrepreneur couple. We run a business together. And today we're gonna tell you literally all of the juicy details, spill the tea about how we met. So cheers to that. And let's get this video started. We love White Claws and we met while we were drinking. So to celebrate this video, we're going to be drinking our favorite drink, which is White Claws during the video. So hopefully you can crack one open because it is Friday and who doesn't like to have a Friday night drink, whatever that is. All right, so let's jump straight into the story. It was 2016, I just got my bachelor's in electrical engineering and I started working on my full-time job. I'm from Oklahoma. <laughs> now, when I was in Oklahoma, I always told my mom, I was like, mom, when I move, First off, I told her I'm going to move out of state when I work full time because I did not want to stay in Oklahoma. Second, I said, wherever I move, I know that I'm going to meet my husband there. And I knew I was going to meet Mark, not Mark. I knew I was going to meet my husband in whatever state that I moved. I moved to Kansas City to work my full time job. And literally, I was my fourth weekend into being there. And of course I talked my cousin into going out with me to the bars because in Kansas City, it's pretty popping bar wise uh, it's a good city for like young professionals so i went out to the bars with my cousin for the fourth weekend in a row like i went out every weekend and i was just like whatever i'm trying to meet my husband it's a joke no, i'm kidding but anyway so my cousin we were out we kept getting hit on by creepy dudes and we we're like screw this we're just gonna go get some cheese fries at this restaurant and then we're gonna go home so we start walking to this restaurant and then i hear a Hey, Lily. And I'm just like, okay, because I just moved to Kansas City in a brand new city. So like no one knew me there. So I turn around and it's actually my mentor at work, like my engineering mentor. I see him, he's out and he called me over to talk. So I go talk to him and then all of a sudden I, I see Mark Dalton walking up. I see him walking up and I was like, dang, I didn't know my mentor had a hot friend. <laughs> I didn't know my mentor had a hot friend. And so I was super happy about that, right? Yeah. Tell them about what you said when you saw me for the first time. So when I saw her for the first time, I asked her if she was an engineer. Is that right? He didn't believe I was an engineer. I don't know why. Stereotypes. Well, she wasn't wearing like anything that indicated engineer, like engineering supplies or uh, something on the shirt maybe, but. Yeah, when I go out, I wear my engineering clothes cause that's, no, it's a joke. So he asked me what Ohm's law was, which is like, if you're an electrical engineer, you like, if you don't know Ohm's law, then you, you probably never went to a college class some reason. I don't know how you could graduate from an engineering, electrical engineering degree without knowing Ohm's law. So he asked me Ohm's law and I was like, okay, can you ask me something harder than that? And then I was like, dude, I can start reciting control systems, 4,000 level engineering class formulas if you would like. Um, but I think that he got the picture that I was effing smart. So at that point, what did you do? At that point, after she was verified, then I moved forward and decided uh, I was ready for a drink. So they were probably ready for one too, so. You did asked, something before that. What did you do? Uh, before that. Mark was so drunk when I met him that he didn't, he didn't remember me. But I'm saying, <laughs> he asked me for my number, which I was like, heck yes. A guy asked me for my number tonight, that's a win. But he asked me for my number and then he was like, let's go take some shots. Oh, so go. then he had, Mark's very good at talking people into taking shots. Like that's his- Let's take a drink. That's his uh, literal expertise. I used to call him party engineer. Party engineer two, like not party engineer one, not entry level party engineer, like party engineer two or three. But yeah, so anyway, we went to the bar, we took shots. We left that bar and then my cousin ended up leaving too. She left early, but I stayed so I can hang out with Mark more. And my mentor at work, by the way, was there the entire time. That's true, it was, a, it was a long night and then when I got home by myself, 
I, no, uh, you're missing a lot of pieces. Like oh, the yeah. time we went to the club, right after oh, we right. took shots, we decided to go to the club. And he called me Susan. He said Susan. He literally thought my name was Susan. There was a Susan in the group of people before I met her. And so I think it's just like, you know, it's on your mind and it's kind of on on like the back burner. So you just pick one of those names out and it's, it was the wrong one. It was in the queue, but not the right position in the array, if you get what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I was like, dude, my name's not Susan and F you. I'm kidding, I didn't say that. But then after he messed that up, my favorite song came on in the club and I was like, I don't care. My favorite song is on, I have to go dance to it. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna go dance to this song because it's my favorite song. Like, if you wanna come, you can come. I don't care, but I'm gonna go dance. So then Mark and I went and danced. Oh, yeah. And that's when I figured out that he was not an awkward dancer, which is cool because I like to dance, honestly, so. Well, yeah, I like music, like having a, a good time like that. So I just danced. After the club, Mark and his roommate, AKA my mentor, was like, hey, come look at my apartment. Because they had this cool apartment that was really bougie and expensive, right in like party central of Kansas City where we were. And they had this awesome balcony that overlooked this really nice pool. So they wanted to show it to me. They wanted to show it off. So they were like, hey, come back. Which by the way, the club closed at three. So after the club closed, we went to get something to eat and then we went back to their apartment. So this was like an all night type of ordeal when Mark and I met. So it was like 4 a.m. I walk back to their apartment. They show me like the apartment, the views, like all of that cool stuff. And then we start listening to me. <laughs> they asked me to DJ and I DJed some really good songs. And I think that's the first thing that Mark and I bonded over was that we're both, like we both have really good taste in music when it comes to like entertaining a crowd or like being that person that plays the right song at the party. Like that's both Mark and I, we both have that skill. I don't know. So I was starting to play some really banging songs and they were impressed. Mark and his roommate, AKA my mentor. And then eventually it got so late that it was time for everyone to go to bed. And I Ubered home because of course I'm not going to drive after drinking. So I Ubered back to my house and then I get home and guess who is blowing up my phone when I get home? Well, so I got home. No, you were I home. Was, I left your home. Right. I was, I was currently at the, uh, the home residence and I was sitting in the living room watching the ESPN rerun of the rerun. And they were telling me on there, if you're still up, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. They told me on ESPN, <laughs> they told you the sports over and over. And I sat there thinking, I need to call this girl or text her. So I got my phone out of my hand. And this is, uh, this is back in the day before like the iPhone 20. So this is like, no. Okay, iPhone so. six y'all. <laughs> no, it was just basic. Just send her a text and, uh, I waited, but at 4 a.m. when you're waiting, you don't know if you're going to get an answer. So 4 uh, I watched the, uh, the highlight reel again on TV thinking I'll wait a couple more minutes and then I'll just go to bed, I guess. But then it came back and I got that text and I knew that she was still awake. I was eating ice cream, actually. That used to be like my Well, thing. you have a story about being locked out of the house, I think, coming up. Oh yeah, I got home really drunk and then I was like locked out of my house. So I had to wake up my cousin, which I was living with my cousin at the time. She was my roommate. And I had to like knock on her window and wake her up at 4 a.m. to let me into the house. So that happened. So after she let me in, I made a big bowl of ice cream and then Mark texts me. Well, basically begging me to come back over at 4 a.m. No, at this point, it wasn't even 4 a.m. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> at this point, it wasn't even 4 a.m. It was like closer to 5 a.m. Well, know? here's and, what I did. If you, you guys are probably thinking, well, what did Mark do? They want to know the secret. <laughs> well, there's no secret for say. But what I did is I thought, what, what are we doing? This is 4th of July weekend. And so I'm it was thinking, 4th of July weekend. I'm thinking like, you know, it's a 4th of July deal. Like, let's go and have a good time this weekend. So I told her, 
look, you're gonna come back over here and then we're going to just hang out for a little bit longer until we pass out at 6 a.m. He had a king size bed, so he kept saying like, "Well, when he I had went a to, couple of tactics to persuade me, salesman, I saw it day one." Well, it was a Fourth of <laughs> July special, like when you buy Literally, a car. He drilled that in. The only reason I even originally had gone to the bar with him to take shots when I was originally going to leave was because he kept literally saying like. It's 4th of July weekend, like, come yeah, on, it's a you limited have time to. Deal. You're off work Monday, it's like, it's 4th of July, you gotta go. And then, and then after that, after he had talked me into the, going to the bar, then he talked me into coming back over to his apartment by saying he had a king size bed, which I'm the queen of sleep. So I was like, okay, king size bed, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have enough room for me to sleep comfortably, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay. I can't give up this opportunity because Mark and I hit it off. We had literally everything in common. So I was like, okay, this is what, this has potential, maybe, maybe. I was skeptical AF, but I Ubered back over to his place. And like, honestly, I felt like bad because I was talking to my Uber driver. She was like talking to me and the sun was rising, literally. I got back to his apartment and it was 6 a.m. The sun was basically risen at that point. And I was just talking to my Uber driver as the sun was rising and we were driving back to his apartment and I had all of my pillows. I'm that girl, I carry my pillows and blankets because I have to sleep with my pillows. I'm not flexible when it comes to sleep, so. Which he thought was the cutest thing when I brought my pillows and blankets over, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, you had like three or four pillows in your hands just dropping them trying to get up the stairs so yeah it was cute i was having a straight up slumber party but yeah anyway so that's how we met it was july 1st we partied all night we drank not white claws unfortunately but we did drink yeah, i didn't i don't think they had them back then yeah they didn't exist back then 2016 so. maybe i don't know but yeah, that's how we met. And then we've basically been inseparable ever since. So cheers. Cheers. It's been three, over three years and we have been literally inseparable. No one can, no one can separate us. Even though a lot of people have tried, <laughs> it's very hard to separate us no matter what happens. So that's the story of how we met. That's the first night that we met. And that's the night that our life changed literally forever. So I just want to share that with you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, take a drink of your favorite drink, whatever that is, and just have a great weekend. We love you guys. And we'll see you on the next video. See you next time.